Hello everybody, welcome back to 539. So as you may have already guessed, we are at the Fallen Timbers Battlefield Memorial. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what all is here. It kind of looked cool from the pictures, so I'm hoping that it's going to be an interesting location. Uh, it looks uh, obviously incredibly historic, and then down the road from here is a um, cemetery, I think directly related to the fort that was around here at one time. So uh, we're going to go check out that in one of the upcoming episodes. So uh, let's get out here and actually look at the battlefield, see what the memorial has uh, to offer here, uh, what kind of historical uh, information they have on display, and uh, what other cool things might be here. So let's go uh, find out what's here. So the first thing I wanted to do before we check out the actual monument and a couple other historical items here was uh, check out this really cool bridge that's going over the top of the highway here. Uh, it looks pretty epic. I don't know that it's very old, but it just has this crazy look to it. this much traffic. the car pointed right directly in front of the camera there so uh, pretty interesting I thought it's kind of cool and again just a tad bit scary looking but uh, let's head back over here and we will check out the historic monument and see what else there is to offer So we are approaching the monument now, and this epic row of trees is right in front of it. And the police have just arrived, and I'm not really worried about it per se, but I'm not seeing any park hours. And so I'm worried that it's closing time and they're about to come and kick everybody out. But it looks really impressive. Not the biggest place in the world, although I think the trails go around for a little bit here. Uh, I'm not seeing all of them. I know there's a few things and a few monuments. Looks like uh, this is a Native American one here.
and directly behind it is the sort of giant monument to the then American side of the conflict. It looks like there actually is some Native Americans depicted on it though. So far, no police have gotten out to tell me that it's time to leave. Again, I didn't see any sign of hours on the place, so I'm just kind of hoping that they're going to let me stay. Uh, it's not going to be dark for about another hour and a half, so uh, I'm assuming that maybe they're just parking at this point. I don't know, but the other people that were here just left, so I'm getting a little nervous. Epic view behind the monument as well. All right, continue on forward here. Looks like there's a few more things that we might see. I'm not sure if right over there is just a rock or what it is. It kind of looks like it's probably just a decorative rock. So let's uh, take a look at this plaque here and then we'll get a look at the information up at the front. And then we'll take off and head to the next location. And so you can see here that they're listing all of the people killed in action and uh, their grave site being in unmarked graves on the battlefield. And I'm not sure exactly where the exact battle took place, but I believe it was somewhere really near here if, if we're not in fact standing right on top of it. We're now heading back up to the front and it looks like the police are just leaving. So maybe he was just taking uh, his 15 minute break. So that's good news. I again was afraid that maybe coming in I missed the hours and that it closed at like four and they were gonna wait and basically tell me I needed to leave or get out of their car and come find me. But he didn't seem to care so that's good. So let's actually head first around to this other little rock. It looks like it has a plaque on it. Uh, and uh, then we'll head up and look at this historic sign right here. All right, cutting over here to the other side of the walking path. We are now coming up on this rock with some sort of plaque on it. And I didn't realize that the trail dropped down right here since we're not going to be kicked out for sure now and it looks like the place is at least open till dark if not open 24 hours a day maybe we'll head down there and see what's down there i think it's just part of a bike trail so i don't think we're going to find anything else historic yeah you can even see this plaque is not a historical plaque really it's sort of a historical plaque but more made for the trail <laughs> hi the crap out of me. I didn't realize that they were coming up on me. They were jogging so silently. I think I kind of made them laugh. So, that's fine. But, uh, let's, uh, travel down the trail a little bit here and see if we can get a little bit more scenic view of the nature behind the memorial here.
Hmm. I don't know if we're gonna really get a good view this way. We may have to jump back up to the front here. I don't really mind people seeing me film, but they were literally like five feet behind me when I turned around, so I wasn't really expecting them to be there. Not their fault at all, but just kind of funny. Yeah, we're gonna be blocked by all of these trees and brush. As you can tell, the view is not very good from here. But a pretty cool little trail, and I'm sure it's a fun place to uh, exercise, so yeah. So here is some of the information on the place. So based on this map here, you can see the park is right here. And then directly on the other side of the road is where the actual battlefield was. All right, cutting back to the car now. It looks like we can actually go across and check out the old battlefield. So um, I'm not 100% sure if that's what we were looking at. It did appear that that was in the correct place, but we're just gonna go ahead and drive over that way and uh, look around for a minute. Uh, again, hopefully it's not closed already. I don't know when any of these places closed, but it looks like there's other, some other cool stuff around here that we're gonna check out as well in some of the upcoming episodes. I noticed a few more things that would be very interesting. So, all right, let's uh, cut over there. All right, so we're now on the other side at the other section of the memorial and the actual battlefield here. So I was wrong looking at that empty field. It was behind the houses like I indicated it could possibly be. So we're going to uh, go through the woods here and kind of check the place out, see if there's any more plaques or anything like that. Uh, I'm kind of running low on power here, so we may switch over to the GoPro uh, temporarily. And uh, yeah. Uh, let's see what we can find. All right, well, quite the place, incredibly large. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to film the whole way through this uh, trail here. We're gonna make it to the other side and take a look at the big field. Uh, I'm assuming that probably parts of the battle actually occurred in the woods as well as the large empty uh, grassland on the other side. So I wanna get a good look at both. And so you can see here that part of the battle did occur, at least in the woods here, and some uh, odd events, a, a random tornado going through the area actually helped out the Native American forces.
A very interesting bridge has been erected here. This is kind of cool. Ready to exit the tree line here and out onto this large field, which is kind of incredible looking right now. It has a little bit of a haze over it, almost like a really, really light fog. It's almost, almost uh, can't see it, but I don't know how as well it's going to come out on the camera. But it looks pretty, pretty cool in person. And so I'm not really sure how much of the battle occurred out in the open. Again, it looks like a lot of it occurred in the forest where there was a lot of cover for the Native Americans to defend themselves. everybody thanks so much for watching this episode make sure if you enjoyed you hit that thumbs up button uh, make sure you subscribe and turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss a single episode and also if you want to support the journey and get your name in the credits at the end of each episode make sure you check out the uh, patreon pa page uh, available in the description below thank you all see you guys in the next adventure